Let us understand about weak entity types. An entity that does not have a key attribute is called weak entity type. So there is no key attribute that is there. They are always identified with their owner. So there will be a strong entity set which is associated with this weak entity set. And they participate in an identifying relationship. Uh, the weak entity will always have a total participation with respect to the relationship. So let us consider here an employee has a list of dependents. And here there are dependent names. So a partial key of the weak entity type, the particular entity they are related to. So the weak entity will have a partial key, something which used to vaguely identify. And it will also have the uh, strong entity sets key. Put together, it will become the primary key of the weak entity set. So here the weak entity is dependent. The uh, strong entity set or you can also call as identifying entity set is employee. The partial key of weak entity set is dependent name. So the primary key of the weak entity set will be the primary key of uh, this set comma the partial key of the weak entity set. The key of strong entity set, comma, the partial key of weak entity set. To give an example, see, this employee is a strong entity or identifying entity. The identifying relationship is given in double rom rhombus. And from the weak entity set, it has total participation. This indicates weak entity set, which is given in two rectangles. Now, here, this acts as a partial key. Name acts as a partial key. For To know what will be the primary key of the weak entity set, it will be this employee number and the name. Both these put together will give me the primary key of the weak entity set. 